Ben, do you have a minute? Are you already at your parents' house? Oh, hey. I got back a little while ago, yeah. So? What did you want to talk about? I want to apologize again for what happened. And I've got a little something to tell you. There is nothing to talk about now. There is literally nothing to talk about with you. We aren't a couple anymore anyway, are we? Even if we aren't, there's still a favor I want to ask of you. Okay. I suppose I can at least hear you out. Thank you. But first, I should apologize. I'm sorry for causing you such a hassle because of my selfishness. I really am so sorry. It wasn't just a small hassle. You were off with some other guy while I was at work. That's more than just a hassle. I'm so sorry. You were off having fun instead of looking after your daughter. I can't believe you. You turned your back on your own daughter to fool around. This isn't something that can be fixed with a simple apology. I know that. That's why I accepted the divorce. Don't act like you're doing me a favor. It's obvious that we divorced because of this. I'll raise Rebecca on my own. I don't need you. It's out of the question for her to be left with you. She also told me that she wants to live with me. I won't leave her with you. Okay. I know that what I did was awful. No matter what I say, that will never change. I really just want to know why you did it. Instead of regretting it now, I'd rather you just never did it in the first place. I have no response. I'm just so sorry. I couldn't feel worse. I'm just so sorry for you and Rebecca. I don't have any clever argument to come back at you with. You've already apologized enough. Leaving your daughter to go get laid is just... I've already said it, but I'll never be able to forgive you. I know. You think I don't already know that? Well then, you said you had a favor to ask? I've been pretty busy ever since we moved. I've got to sort out all of Rebecca's stuff. I really don't have much free time, so get it out quick. I want to ask about alimony and child support. I think we need to decide what we're going to do before we divorce. We haven't chatted about it at all yet, have we? Of course, we do have to talk about it at some point. But I'm not sure what there is to talk about. It's obvious that you'll have to pay child support. What you did is reason enough. I can't believe you would complain about it. I just wanted to ask. Is there any chance you could decrease the amount you demand from me? What? What makes you think you can ask that? Do you really understand what you did? How bad it really was? I know, I know. But you also understand my position, right? Even with my share of the house, I won't be able to pay child support. I don't have that kind of money. I'm sure it will be within your means. Otherwise, why not ask your parents to help you? Or the guy you were sleeping with. My parents have already cut me off. As for the guy, he ran off the second you found out. <laughs> so I don't have anyone that will help me. Honestly, you're my ex-wife. I don't think I have to help you. Frankly, I'm shocked you would ask. I still don't think you understand how stupid what you did was. It really was. I know. It was really and unbelievably stupid. It makes me laugh sometimes how stupid it was. <laughs> I wonder if I'm also as stupid as you for wanting to marry you. So, you want me to lower the money I ask for? I'll do it if that's what it takes to cut ties with you. Are you sure? That's all I'm asking for. I know it was selfish to ask you to do this. I absolutely can't forgive you for what you've done. But I will thank you for bringing Rebecca into this world. For that reason alone, I'll help you out this last time. Thank you. It's not like I'm tight for cash, so it's no issue for me. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Can we stop there? There is one other thing. Fine, I'll listen this one time. But you do know that whatever you ask might be too much of me. I want some time with Rebecca. 
Even just one day is okay. I want to make some memories with her. Is that out of the cards? Like I said before, I have no intention to forgive you for what you did. So this will be the last act of kindness I do for you. You won't be involved in her life after this, though. You get that, right? So, you'll let me see her? For just one day, yeah. She's still in elementary school, so you'll have to bring her back by the evening. That's great. If you have any other conditions, please let me know. I'll do exactly what you say. We just moved. So it can't be straight away. I was thinking that I'd let you see her before we get divorced. Please understand, though, that it might take a bit of time before she'll be able to see you. Thank you so much. If I don't see her, I'll regret it forever. It'll be the last time you see her alone. Of course, you'll see her at the scheduled visits, though. Yeah, I know. You'll be there, too, at the visits, right? Yeah, I'll be there. Especially until Rebecca is used to her life after the divorce. I'll make this time count, then. I was such a bad mother to her. I want to leave her with one last good memory with me. I want you to as well. She told me that not all of her memories of you are bad. She said she knows that you loved her with all your heart. I hope in the future she'll be proud of the amazing girl she is. Rebecca, did you have fun today? It was nice being with your mom, wasn't it? It's the first time we went out together, just the two of us. It felt kind of weird. But it was fun to do so much shopping. Did you get some presents from your mom? She bought me some clothes so we match. And other stuff, too. Oh, really? You should say thank you to her. She said, it's okay. That's nice of her. Well, I'll come and get you now. You know, there'll be less chances to see your mom from now on. So make sure you say goodbye properly, okay? I will. I'm going to say goodbye now. See you, Dad. What? Why have you said goodbye to me? There's no point saying bye to me. <laughs> Don't be lazy. Say it properly to your mom. <laughs> No, I'm going to stay with mom from now on. So, bye-bye, dad. You're going to live with your mom? Is this a silly joke? You said before that you'd come and live with me, didn't you? No, I didn't. I want to live with mom. That's why I'm saying bye to you now. Sorry, Rebecca, but I don't understand. You live with me now. When your mom and I broke up, you told me that you wanted to live with me. What's happened all of a sudden? I changed my mind. I think that mom is better than you now. So, bye-bye, Dad! Rebecca, if you really want to live with your mother, that's okay. I have no problem with it. Okay! I'll always support you in anything you want to do. I want to help you with whatever it is that you want to do. Up to now, I've always let you do as much as you've wanted. So it's important for me that you have your freedom. You know that, right? I know. When I told you I wanted to do piano lessons, you said that it was okay. Right? So if you want to live with your mom, if you really want to live with your mom, then I won't say no. Okay. Thanks. You're at your mom's now, aren't you? You're my amazing daughter. I'll help in any way that I can. Not just with money. But, Rebecca. What? But if you actually don't want to go to your mom's house, then that's a different story. Do you understand? Yeah, I get it. You're saying that to make sure I'm okay, right? You love me lots, don't you? Of course. I love you lots. 
so I won't let you do something that you don't want to do. I know. So, can I ask you one more time? Who do you really want to live with? Mom or me? It's okay. You can be honest. Don't think about what your mom or I think. Just be honest. What do you want to do? Being with you is good. I don't want to leave you. Is that so? I'm glad. I'm sorry for lying. You're the best. Please don't hate me for lying. I could never hate you. I said it before and I'll say it again. I love you, Rebecca. I love you even if you lie to me. Okay. Thanks. But why did you come out with all of that so suddenly? Did your mom say something to you? Well, if I'm with you, then you'll get caught. I don't want that. Did your mom say that? If you go and stay with me, then I'll be arrested? Children have to be with their moms. So if I am with you, then you'll be arrested. So I can't stay with you. Is that what your mother said? Don't worry, Rebecca. That won't happen. I won't be arrested if you're with me. It's fine for you to be with me. Really? Yeah. Have I ever lied to you before? No. Never. So you can believe me when I tell you that it's no problem. Let's stay together from now on. Great. In that case, I'll come and get you now. Wait patiently like a good girl. Okay, I will. I have to talk to your mom a little. So please don't say anything to her. Listen to your mom like a good girl while you wait for me to get there, okay? We don't want your mom getting angry. That would make things hard. Can you promise me? It's fine. I promise. You're a good girl. See you in a bit. See you, Dad! What the hell, Erica? Why have you been lying to Rebecca? She told me the only reason she wanted to be with you is because you lied and told her I would be arrested if she lived with me. It is what it is. We should let her do what she wants if she decided on it. You're her father, so you should respect her wishes. Don't be unreasonable here. Can't you respect your own daughter's wishes? So you're not even going to deny that you lied? It's normal for mothers to get custody of their children. So it wouldn't matter what I did. The result would be the same. Do you have a problem with that? It's not as simple as that. How do you think Rebecca feels? Well, until she's 15, she can't go off on her own. She has to follow what we say. But I'm no monster. I think we should consider her opinions too, even if she is young. At the end of the day, it's a case of which one of us can provide the best environment for her to grow up in. If you think about it, she's clearly better off with me. Wouldn't you agree? You'd maybe be right if you weren't the sort of mother who has ignored Rebecca up to now. If you think about your attitude towards her upbringing up to now, you'd see that it would be ridiculous to give you custody, even though you are the mother. I think even if I have my issues, she's better off with me than with you, considering you're always out of the house at work. She'd at least get the attention she needs that way. Getting custody over her will be better for her. I couldn't disagree more. Anyway, why did you lie to her? You told me that you'd let me have custody of her. I thought we agreed it was for the best. I changed my mind. She's all I've got. Don't you know that? You were disowned by your parents. And I guess your boyfriend also left you? So you don't want to lose Rebecca too? I know that it's selfish. But I'm the one who carried and birthed her, aren't I? So it's up to me to look after her. Don't play the sympathy card. You're the one that made the situation where it's better for me to have her. You just want her so you aren't alone, right? 
She isn't a pet. I don't care what you think. I don't want to live alone. I'm sure if you hadn't had an affair, you wouldn't be having any of these thoughts. But yet here we are. You lied to your own daughter to get your way. You got Rebecca involved in your selfish games. I'm not being selfish. Children are better off with their mother than their father. First, you can't give her a proper upbringing with how busy you are, can you? Well, that's a null point as I'm planning to change jobs to get better hours. And we're going to live near my parents' place for stability. My parents will be able to step in and look after Rebecca when I can't. Even if you do have help, kids can't be raised to be good people without their mother's presence. Do you want Rebecca to grow up to be a bum? Anything is better than letting her grow up near you. You must get that by now. You'd let her come back home if you were really thinking of her. You clearly don't have her interests in mind. Give her back to me. What do you mean, give her back? The custody hasn't even been decided yet. You don't have any specific rights over her. The second you found your lover, you lost interest in your daughter. She can do without you. She doesn't need someone like you in her life. Someone like you can't raise her properly. Someone like you doesn't have any right to call yourself her mother. You're wrong. She needs me. I'm begging you, please don't take her from me. If you genuinely wanted to be with her, then it would be a different story. I would have been more open to chatting to you about it. You don't believe me? Rebecca told me. You took her out to buy a load of stuff today, right? But you told me that you didn't have enough money to pay child support, and even begged me to lower the amount. It seems like you splurged out a lot considering you're broke. So what? I only splurged out because it was for Rebecca. Don't worry about it. I'm going to ask to reduce the amount you see her from now on. Today I'm letting her see you for her sake, but after this, you'll see her less. Is that right? So what exactly do you have an issue with? Why did you take her out to buy stuff for yourself? She told me that you spent more on clothes for yourself than you did for her. I didn't think you had that much to spare. You're telling me that if I ask for a reduction of the child support, then I'm not allowed to buy anything for myself? It's such a minor thing. <laughs> I plan to ask for as much as I can. It seems that you told Rebecca it was fine. You told her that you'd have more money coming in, is that right? I was talking about the money from the house. Do you have a problem with that? The money is from your dad divorcing me. Would you rather I told her that? Even with the money you got from the house, even if I reduce the child support amount, the amount you have left over isn't a lot. You won't be able to splurge out like you did today anymore. You decided to try and keep Rebecca for the child support money, didn't you? What are you basing that on? I'm a bit confused as to how you reached that conclusion from me going shopping for a little bit today. You hid loans from me, didn't you? Your boyfriend was giving you money to help out before he left, wasn't he? You don't know what you're talking about. How would you know? Obviously, I did a lot of research and talked to a lot of lawyers for the divorce. I was honest about wanting to help you out by reducing the child support. I knew about your debt at that point, so I agreed to it. I thought it would be best if I helped alleviate some of the burden for you if I could. Okay, fine. So I'm in debt. Don't go back on your decision now. You agreed to reduce the amount in order to help me out. You're not going to go back on that now, are you? I wouldn't have had a problem if you hadn't done something so stupid. But it's a different story if you just want custody over Rebecca just to claim the child support. I'd never give Rebecca to someone like you. You have no right to decide that. I'm the one who gave birth to her. You told me that she could go with me when we get divorced. Who do you think gave birth to her? Can't you just think about my situation for a second? You're the reason our family has split apart. Don't push that responsibility onto your daughter. But you told me that she could go with me because you were always out at work. I won't be lectured about how I should act by a man who was only ever in a good mood on the rare vacation. 
That's right. You were with Rebecca around the clock. You had way more time with her than I did when I was busy with work. See? You were a worse parent than I was. How many years have passed since you gave birth to Rebecca? That's how long it's been. That's how long you've been closer to her. But be honest. How much love do you give her in that time you had? All those things you neglected to do are coming back to haunt you now, aren't they? Are you trying to say that Rebecca wanting nothing to do with me is inevitable? No. She already decided she doesn't want anything to do with you. She chose to not be with you from now on. Actually, no. She didn't choose to not be with you. You did. Your actions left her no choice. Okay, okay, that's enough. It's my fault that Rebecca didn't choose me. That's what you're trying to say to me, right? I already know that. If that's the case, then give Rebecca back to me. Can you act as a responsible mother just one more time? You're forgetting that I don't have to listen to you. Remember, she said she wants to stay with me. I'll get custody over her. No, no, no. She said that she doesn't want to see you. So you can't get custody over her. And are you just going to ignore all of my parenting achievements up to now? You can think whatever you want to think. I'll get custody of her for sure. No matter what. I would like you to let Rebecca go and give her back to me. Or is that impossible for you? Well, she's at my place now, isn't she? I'm telling you that I'm not handing her over to you. So it's definitely impossible. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. I guess I'll have to take you to court. What? Court? All I've done is go home with my own daughter? So what crime are you going to take me to court for exactly? <laughs> We're separated, so taking her without permission is a crime. But I'm her mother. It doesn't matter if I have permission or not. I'm her damn mother! Being a parent or not is irrelevant. It's a crime to take a child without their current guardian's permission. If I call the police and tell them, you'll be arrested. Police? Arrested? You must be joking. If you don't give her back to me in a civil manner, I'll be left with no choice. I guess this is just what I get for being too nice to you and letting you walk all over me. Even if we are getting divorced, I'm still your wife now, though. Surely you wouldn't hand over your wife to the police. You aren't that crazy, are you? You used to love me, didn't you? Can you really do that to someone that you used to love? Whatever you say, you won't change my mind. You know the pain that you felt when you gave birth to her? I feel something similar to that as her father when I imagine the possibility of Rebecca being miserable living in your custody. There's no way for me to know what you're actually planning. But if you don't give her back to me right now, then be prepared for the consequences. I won't be holding back. I don't want to mess with the police. If you call the police, then my life will be over. Please, help me out. If you have any shred of maternal love left in you, then just respect her wishes and give her back. I don't want to resort to calling the police on you. The sight of your mother being taken in front of you. I'd like to finish this without Rebecca having to see that. So just hand her over to me. But I won't be able to live without Rebecca with me. I can't make ends meet because of the debt. You made your bed. Now lay in it. Grow up and act like a mother. Like you keep saying, you gave birth to her. So act like a mother for once. Send her off properly to me. Rebecca, I've just finished work and I'm on my way home now. Okay! I was studying with Grandma and Grandpa. Wow, aren't you a good girl? Have you finished studying now? Yeah, Grandpa is awesome. He knew how to work out all the questions I couldn't do. I could understand everything he taught me. He's great, right? He was a teacher a long time ago. He's much more clever than me. Even more clever than you? Can you show me what he taught you when I get home? Sure. 
Studying with Grandpa is super fun. Let's study together too. Maybe Grandpa will have to teach me too. <laughs> He's great, isn't he? He can teach you anything. Not just studying. He also helps out Grandma a lot too. Soon you'll know much more than me. I'll know more than Grandpa and Grandma too. I don't even get angry when I can't figure things out. He told me that I'm easy to teach, even if I'm wrong, because I don't get mad. He's so easy to understand. That's music to my ears. I can't wait to see you study together. And he doesn't only know about studying, he knows about other stuff too. Oh really? Like what? Tell me, tell me. When I come to Grandpa's house, everything we do is fun. Fun? Yeah. It's way more fun than when I used to be alone. It's nice to be with people, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. You couldn't hang out with him much before, right? I'm sorry, Rebecca. I really am. You don't have to apologize. You get home really early now. I love it. I'm so happy when we're all together. Me too. Thank you for coming home to me, Rebecca. I wouldn't be this happy if you weren't with me. I really do love you, Rebecca. I love you too, Dad. Thank you, Dad. You're a really great daughter, Rebecca. When I was with Mom, I was always lonely. But I love it here. I won't be lonely anymore. Because I have Grandpa, Grandma, and you. I'll never let you be lonely again. I promise you that whatever happens from now on, I'll protect you. Thank you so much for coming into my life, Rebecca. I love you. After Erica gave Rebecca back to me safe and sound, we finally divorced. Now I'm raising Rebecca by myself. I'm doing the job of both parents, but I don't feel like I need Erica. I was granted custody in the divorce. Knowing Erica's real intentions, I decided to ask for as much alimony and child support as I could, as promised. I feel like it was my fault that Erica was able to walk all over me. I was too kind. But this time, I did what I had to do for Rebecca. For what it's worth, Erica didn't try and fight it. I wasn't awarded any alimony due to her financial situation, but she was given less than half of the money from the house. I don't know what her situation is with her debt, or how she's going to afford to live from now on. But giving Rebecca back showed she still had some motherly affection left in her. I have decided not to allow Erica to see Rebecca any more than legally obligated for a lot of reasons. To put it simply, I think that it would be detrimental to Rebecca's upbringing if they saw each other too often. I want Rebecca to have a chance to recover from how she felt before, and for her feelings of loneliness to fade away. I want her to feel absolutely adored by her grandparents and me. And interestingly, Rebecca is wholeheartedly trying to help around the house and has discovered a passion for studying. I'm starting to feel like the divorce hasn't had a devastating effect on her. Regardless of what kind of mother she is, Rebecca only has one. When I think about the effect on Rebecca of the divorce, I can't help but think it was a positive one. From now on, I'll do my best as a single dad to help Rebecca grow up to be the great person I'm sure she'll be. And I'm sure she'll help me grow up a bit too. <laughs>